all right so what's up guys and the wait is over we finally have the android 13 beta 1 released for our pixel devices so it is supported on every pixel from the pixel 4 so 4 4a 5 5a pixel 6 6 pro the 4a 5g as well uh, so i have installed it on my pixel 6 here so we'll be taking a look at what all is new in the android 13 beta 1 this is not this is no longer the developer beta this is the actual public beta that you guys can download and check it out for yourself how everything is working and you can report bugs and so on so yeah i have just installed it on my pixel 6 and we'll be taking a look at what all is new what uh, what is actually changed in this particular beta so for confirmation this is actually the public beta 1 no longer the uh, developer beta so if you want to install it on your pixel all you do is go into android beta program there we go on google and once it's on go to the beta program uh, log in with your google account and if you have a pixel 4 or above phone you can go into view your eligible devices scroll down and you can see your uh, eligible devices over here you can just opt in into the beta and you're all set so once you have done that you then have to go to settings go down to system go down to software update or system update and you'll see that there will be a new update for android 13 beta 1 um, so yeah let's begin with what all are the changes in this particular beta so first things first is i'll quickly go to settings here uh, i'll scroll down to about phone and if i go down as you can see i am running on android version 13 and it is the april 5th security patch i don't think the easter egg has been changed i think it's still the android 12 easter egg that you have but obviously i'm running the 13 beta 1 uh, so so first things first I notice is a change uh, on the lock screen. So if I just lock my phone real quick and if I double tap, as you can see, I have multiple notifications here. Um, so it only shows me to the top three and the rest are uh, grouped at the bottom left here. So this is something new that I noticed uh, as soon as I turned the device on or rebooted my device from the update is that you will it no longer clutters the entire screen. It will just show you um, a separate thing on the side here uh, for you to know what notifications you actually have. Um, and yeah, you also have a dot here to represent the rest of the notifications. So as you can see, if I just drag it down, it actually uh, shows you an extended list of the notifications. So that's actually a good thing, uh, I think. So that, that was like the first thing that I noticed um as soon as i rebooted my device uh, the next thing here is actually if i go into my home settings or what the parent styles actually uh, we now have multiple colors to choose from so i think they have added a like a lot of new colors here as well to um, match your android 12 um, style design the material you design so you have so you now have a lot of new colors that you can choose from basically i like to keep it the basic blue so i have it just a blue but yeah this is the only thing uh even if you go into wallpaper colors i think these are the new colors added here um so yeah a lot of new color gradient to choose from and uh, you can customize the device even more with this new update so the next thing is basically if you go into your settings um if you go into your sound and vibration uh do not disturb is actually back i think it was uh, renamed as a uh, priority mode on the previous betas but it is back again uh, and hopefully it stays then if you go down again if you go into your um, let's say display and if you go into lock screen which is right over here uh, you can now control your uh, devices the smart home devices without unlocking your device so i have it disabled right now uh, let's see if it gives me an option to actually control it oh yeah it does it actually does but what if i turn the thing on and let's see what it does now Oh, I think it's it's the same thing. 
um, oh I still have to actually enter my pin or my fingerprint to control my lights um, but uh, yeah I mean it actually says that you can control from your lock device but not sure about how much it works right now um, but yeah that's, that's something that has been added new to Android 13 beta 1 then the next thing is a pretty exciting one um, because it is like a complete redesign so if I just quickly go into Spotify and I'll just quickly play a song let's say this song um, and once it starts playing there we go if I scroll down there is a complete new redesign for media controls um, so as you can see uh, it says that you have the song if I just skip ahead if I just play as you can see I just really reduce the sound here and uh, if I just play the song as you can see the the previous part that it played actually does the warm thing <laughs> and the rest of it is just a plain line so that's that's like a really really good thing uh, if you pause it goes back to normal but if you play it again as you can see it does the warm thing again so this is like a new media control that you have um, and it now says one active app and it's Spotify you can stop it if you want you also have the settings icon over here and a power icon right over here so what if I just stop it okay it doesn't go away but I think I can play it again from yep I can do that so it's actually very very beneficial I'll just quickly play something on YouTube and let's see if it um, actually rolls over to the other side so let's say I have a song playing here and then I go back I have yeah there you go I have two active apps now one from YouTube and one from Spotify so if I just play it real quick it does the same worm thing to the uh, app again and I have two active apps now so that's actually pretty nice and uh, yeah I, I do really like the new redesign that the media controls have with it and there are like a bunch of minimum or a bunch of minimal changes that Android 13 has brought with it for example now the Android USB debugging icon has been changed to uh, support the new Android 13 which is Android Tiramisu logo so that's uh, that's another thing that has been changed then the next thing that's been changed is um, I think the clipboard menu so if I just quickly uh, copy this as you can see you'll get a pop-up at the bottom you can just edit it if you want this is the new clipboard menu for Android 13 so that's that's been changed as well that's that's like a new thing that has been added to Android 13 there's also like a hidden setting that uh, is supposed to be I think released with the future updates but if you go into your uh, display uh, and if you go down to your screen resolution um, it will actually give you an option to select between the um, 1080p full HD or 1440p quad HD on your pixel 6 or 6 pro so for the 6 I think it's a 1080p display but if you are running or if you, if you own a 6 pro you can basically get that option I think in the future on your Pixel 6 Pro and I think that's pretty much it as far as Android 13 goes I mean you already had the developer betas so I don't think it's going to be changed that much from the developer betas but yeah a lot of new features to be found in the coming betas as well so I'm pretty excited to test out the new upcoming betas the beta 2 beta 3 beta 4 and uh, for now it's more like an under hood or under the hood um, change so uh, if I could just dismiss oh I can't dismiss this I'll just quickly stop the apps let's see what happens and then I can dismiss it oh so that's that's not bad and uh, yeah again a lot of under the hood or changes here as you can see we now have the icons over here and uh, yeah i mean if i find any other changes uh, i'll just put it down in the comment section or i'll link a thread down below uh, from a very reputed person 
Michal Rehman from Twitter he is like a god when it comes to android developer or beta updates so i'll leave his thread down below if he updates it with any changes but for now that is pretty much it for this video this is the um android 13 beta 1 uh, again if you want to try it you can do it right now and uh, i don't think it's that buggy but i'll definitely update you guys in the future on how the beta is holding up on the pixel 6 so for now that is pretty much it thank you for watching if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.